Now we've got our tree, we can read off the codes. The first step is to label every bit in the tree with a distinction between 0 and 1. So I'm going to label this fork 0 and this fork 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. A quick jump cut and that stitch is done. Now we need to read off the codes from the tree. And the trick is straightforwardly that you start at the root of the tree and find the path to each letter at the leaves. You just read off the sequence of bits. So to get to H, we have 1, 1, 0. So the code for H is 1, 1, 0. To get to E, we just have 1, 0. Common letter, short code. How about R? That's zero, zero, zero. For I, we have zero, zero, one, zero. And its neighbor S gets zero, zero, one, one. For T, we have zero, one, zero. A, we have zero, one, one, zero. What about N? That looks like one, 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 zero, zero. And for V, its neighbor, we have one, 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 zero, one. Now here's the B, count carefully. We have one, 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 one. Zero, zero. And for D, what's going on? We have one, 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 one. Is that right? Uh, no, I took a wrong turning. One, 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 zero, one. Zero. And for F, we have, oof, we have zero, one, one. No, I've missed that entirely. This is tricky. Try again. I'll tell you how to check it in a moment. For F, we have one, 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 zero. For L, we have zero, one, 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 zero. Uh, for G, that's the other way from F, so one, 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 one. For W, that's just the neighbour of L, we have 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and M is the neighbour of D, so that's 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, all the way to seven length codes for uh, M and D, whereas only length of two for E. So we figured out the codes for each letter. And because the codes come from following the branches of a tree and the branches of the tree split apart somewhere on the way to every leaf, we know that no whole code is the beginning of any other code. That's to say this coding is prefix free. As we decode messages, we're never in any doubt to say, is this the beginning of this letter or is it the whole of that letter? We're never in any doubt about how to do the decoding. We're always just following our path 
in a tree to see what letter we end up at. And those paths are bound to diverge somewhere. That is to say that there's always a bit that tells whatever it is apart from everything else. So it's now straightforward to code up the message, just as a sequence of bits. It's going to be one, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, and so on. Let's not do the whole thing, but we should at least figure out how well we've done against our target of 416. That's next time.